Hello, this is Luca, and I'm going to introduce you our 65-inch interactive whiteboard. As you can see, this is a home page. This is a home page, and there are four icons on the home page. From the left, the interactive whiteboard survey, and this is uh, management, file management, and this is uh, screen sharing, and there is a browser on here. And uh, I'm going to show you more details on the side. There is a side function bars. This is back home page multitask. This is a multitask icon. And this is all the applications on the side. And you can see there are many applications are installed inside. And this is the setting. Also, this icon can be changed the position for each or for each way. And also you can add it. For example, I want to remove this app. I want to change to this app into here. Okay. And here is a setting. This is a setting. And the room for the device, the version of the Android is 11.0. 11.0. 11.0. And you can change the name of your device. And here the ROM is 62. 32. I'm sorry, 32 gigabyte. And the RAM is 4 gigabyte. 4 GB, 4 G plus 32 GB with Android 11, Android 11. And also, you can change to different languages. Now we set to Espanol. This is the Espanol language. We can also change to English language. Also, we have other language as well. Italian, French, Okay, let's go to Espanol. And also here, you can set the sensitive touch. This is a sensitive touch bar. This is a sensitive touch, this one. And uh, it has back, home, whiteboard, settings, and this is a nominate and the multitask function. Okay. Okay. I'm going to introduce you the next, the ports. You can see here, we have a power button. Here we have a power button, and this is a remote control signal receiver. And there is a Type C, Type C port, Type C port, and it supports Type C 3.0, 3.0, and this is HDMI output and this is a touch port touch port and two usb 3.0 ports on on the front okay and on the back here on the back we have a rs232 ports and two lamp ports this is two lamp ports and two usb 3.0 and there is a, a touch usb and one two three three HDMI ports and there is another USB port okay and on the front on the, on the top we have a lift this is a lift which can easily to take it around okay okay and in the settings there is a timing switch this is a timing switch and you can choose um, when the time you want to wake it up or when the time you want to shut it down from here this is a timing switch Okay, have a switch. Oh. First of all, there is a, a screen sharing application on the home page. Just click it. And it will access to this page. And on the right, there is a code. And we just click the code. Here is a QR code shown here. And for your Android phone, you need to download an application. Call it Exit Share. 
exit shift and scan the code, scan the QR code. It will show screen connected and click the mirroring. Start now. Okay. And then we can play some videos for here. You can play videos inside. Can play this video inside. Okay. okay, this is for the Android. And I'm going to show you how to share your screen by iPhone. First of all, make sure that you have connect to the same hotspot as your monitor. For for now we connect to the 3236, the same as this one. There is a 3236 and we connect it to the same hotspot. And then there is a mirroring function in the iPhone. We just click the monitor and wait for seconds. It will cast your iPhone screen to the monitor. For example, like now. Okay. Now. Okay, you can see. Okay. And even more, you can cast the device by iPhone and Android at the same time. You see? It ups to four devices, cast it at the same time. Okay, okay. okay. And when you don't want to use a mirror, you just you just uh, turn off your Wi-Fi and that will be closed. Okay, it will be closed. Turning off your Wi-Fi. Okay. And there is uh, iPhone. Just stop it. Okay. So this is uh, screen sharing functions.